last month uh, when Chris Beard was going around talking about, hey, segmented browsers, maybe something we can experiment, experiment with, like a dev browser or a privacy browser. Um, I started thinking about uh, what else we could do. Like, um, if we built Firefox today, would we do it the same way, right? Like, I, I've always heard people talk about um, uh, Chrome as having had an advantage because they started in 2008 and they didn't have like a whole legacy to support. So, um, you know, imagine like if we were starting over in 2014, what would we want to try? Um, and I started thinking um, maybe there's an opportunity to take away a lot of stuff, make something much simpler. Um, and so that's I started talking to Philip, and um, we had a lot of the same ideas. So this is what we came up with, um, I'm calling it Lightspeed for lack of, I suck at names, but anyway, um, it's three big things. It's got an amazing search, um, there's no settings, and it's private and secure. Uh, so uh, this, is for, this is for people with busy lives. They just expect technology to work. Um, they, they don't care really benchmarks, buzzwords. They don't read the tech press. Um, they want something that gets the job done quickly and reliably. They are probably concerned about privacy and security, but doing things like researching choices and making trade-offs uh, against utility, that's not really an option. Um, as a parent, this is probably, this is the browser. This is like the thing that you would want to give your kids, or this is, you know, as somebody that works at like Mozilla, this is the kind of thing you would recommend to your friends and your family, right? Um, in our user types, these are the busy bees and evergreens. Together, they make up a big giant portion of the, of the user types that we mapped out. Um, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of these people in my life. Um, so I think it's a kind of a kind of interesting place to start. So um, an amazing search. So um, we started uh, work, when we started working on this, we realized um, maybe we could um, build everything around search. Um, it seems to be the way people use the web. They want to go someplace, they search for it. Um, so uh, we did that, and I want to do a quick sort of demo of what we're talking about. Okay, so this is uh, these are my crude drawings, but um, here's here's how. It's a quick look at at what's going on here. So super simple controls, right? Um, uh, that's all there is. Everything else it gets exposed. Uh, in context. Um, you're going to see a lot of things that are inspired by mobile and that's on purpose. So, um, so let's say you're on a web page and you want to go somewhere else. You click in the address bar and this overlay um, pops up. So let me walk you through some of the things that are here. So you, we're on the New York Times, let's say to begin with. Um, so we can do things like give you some contextual links. There's links for other sections of the New York Times, the web page you're on. But maybe we can also suggest other websites, sort of like directory tiles, another take, another uh, opportunity to do something awesome. similar. Um, you've got top sites, um, and, and it includes sites that you love. Uh, and I'll talk, I can talk more about that later, but it's a, another look at doing bookmarks differently. Um, of course, things that we are already playing with, like directory tiles, tabs, you would access them here. Um, so if you want to search, you just start typing. So let's do that. You start to search, and this thing changes, um, and you start to get search results uh, in line. So let's take a look at a little bit what's going on here. Um, you've got search engine results right there. Um, maybe sites that you love, so sort of like the awesome bar and a search engine all in one, right? Um, definitions, Wikipedia info. Um, this is, I think, super genius. Um, uh, maybe if you've given us permission, um, we can search things like your email, 
um, and show you the results here or your Flickr account or your whatever account, anything that's like, you know, behind a login. Um, if you still need more things, we've got actual search uh, suggestions, but the idea is you're going to find the thing that you need right here and not actually have to go to, to a search results page probably, right? It's, uh, it's the amaze bar, sort of. Okay. <laughs> um, so. I give that a six out of ten. <laughs> what's that? I give that a six out of ten. Okay. Good effort. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So no settings. So really, um, no settings. Uh, what if uh, things were just built built in with smart defaults, um, and you as a user, you don't need to sweat the small stuff. We're, we'll take care of that for you. So. There's no search engine settings to change, no home page to set, there's no bookmarks to manage. You know, it auto updates, downloads go in the downloads folder. Of course, uh, you know, we block attack sites and forgeries and stuff. There's no option to turn that crap off. Um, uh, look, you love a site, you click the heart, we take care of the rest. There's no, you wanna get rid of it, you click the heart again, it goes away. There's, that's all the managing you need to do. We'll surface that on the, in that overlay. Maybe you can pin something, but um, uh, it will show, we'll show it when you're looking for things. Um, private and secure. So th the idea of this actually wasn't, uh, at least for me, initially, it wasn't about making um, a, a pri a, like a privacy browser, but I think it ties in really well because one of the things that we saw right away is when you start to, when you strip out all the complexity, you get a pretty inherently private and secure browser. And so then it, it's pretty easy to, to help, uh, to like protect people in a turnkey way. So you can make something that's, um, you know, not uh, built for privacy nerds, but um, does more than what Firefox does today. So, like when you remove all the settings, when you take away, you say, let's not support add-ons or customization mode or something. Um, that, makes the that makes your browser way less susceptible to hijacking or modification by other software. So all that problem with like toolbars and change search engines and all of that, uh, hi hijacked home pages, all that disappears. There's no such thing in this browser. It's not even a concept, right? Um, um, let's make plugins click to play everywhere except for whitelisted uh, trusted sites. And so maybe even on those sites, you can run an outdated plugin. It's okay if you don't have the latest, latest one. We're, we're expecting that Netflix isn't going to try to, um, you know, exploit vulnerable plugins. Um, uh, history, third party cookies cleared after each session, sort of private browsing ish. Um, let's just use HTTPS whenever available or, and let's alert you um, when you try to submit a form uh, on an insecure page or something. Um, there's lots of things that we can do. Maybe this isn't an exhaustive list. We might be able to do, maybe we do stuff like um, Adblock Plus or like their tracking protection or we remove share buttons. You know, there's a zillion other things probably uh, that we could think about, but um, you know, like, why do we not do this already? Anyway, so why should we build this? <laughs> why should we even do this? Um, I, I would think of this as like a platform for experimentation that's independent of the legacy of Firefox, right? Um, um, actually, I think just doing this as a thought experiment has been super valuable. There's, I think there's some great ideas in here that we should probably think about doing in Firefox. Um, um, and I also think that, you know, although, like I said at the beginning, like, you know, I was, we were thinking of like busy bees and evergreens, um, like an uh, internet appliance for people who are busy and don't want to mess with things. Um, actually as someone who I, I would think of myself as an enthusiast, I, I think there's some pretty freaking cool stuff in here. And, and I probably couldn't use this for work. Um, uh, mainly because I, I have like a hundred tabs, uh, open, but, um, for everything else, 
uh, this is the browser I'd be excited about using. So um, I, I also think that there's like the potential audience for this is large enough that it could be a product in its own right. Um, and that's it.